Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 458. I am your host, Ramatanzo, and well, we got some news for you this week. So let's not dilly dally and hop right into it. So, first news for the week. An hour long special for the end of Equestria Gold Season 2 was originally planned. So, let's see. Over on Twitterland, Nick Conflown, writer and story editor for Equestria Girls, has revealed an interesting bit of post-Equestria Girls news for everyone that loved the series. Apparently, he had a big hour-long finale set for the second season that would lead into the, a, third, uh, a third season. But when it didn't happen, they went ahead with the Winter Short Special instead. Uh, so what did we miss out? He posted an entire final uh, thoughts up on Twitter complete with original idea uh, you can find down below. <clears throat> okay, so here it is. Let's see. And to be honest with you guys, I am a fan of Equestria Girls. It's a really interesting story and whatnot. So let's see what they wrote. <clears throat> so, uh, My Little Pony Equestria Girl Season 2 Finale Start uh, Nikon Flown, October 15, 2017 Okay, The main seven have come to expect that equestrian magic will fill them with sorry, will find them wherever they go from school halls to camp bonfires cruise ships to amusement parks their friendship seems to be the sweet lavender-infused honey that attracts the gr green, <laughs> uh, greenless, gr granulous of nefarious flies buzzing with other wor worldly enchantments. Like most heroes, the geo super um, superpower. Sorry, uh, with like most heroes with geo superpowers. The girls have accepted their roles and always, f uh, as always, friends and often heroes. But with the question remains, why do why does this keep happening? Many show, shows ignore this question completely to the detriment of their storytelling universe. Uh, storytelling universe reality. Think, murder she wrote. Jessica Fletcher discovered hundreds of dead bodies. Literally a new one wherever she goes. But we're going to address that question head on because the answer is an essential piece of Sunset Shimmer's ongoing redemption arc, hankering back to the genesis of the Equestria Girls franchise. Ever since sunsets turned to the sorry, ever since sunsets turned at the end of the first movie, uh, her friends have reassured that her past is in the past. What matters is the good she chose to do in the present, but they're wrong. Unbeknownst to sunset, the powerful ancient equestrian magic spell she cast to open the portal to another world in the first place created an imbalance that has not been resolved. Her arrival in the human world displaced an innocent character hmm? displaced an innocent character who whom we've never seen uh, yet seen, but worse absence can uh, but whose absence can be felt every time sunset appeared on screen. In this final special of for <clears throat> of season two, we're going to reveal what happened to the human sons. Oh my god, that is wow! <laughs> wow, Nick, you you got something there. Okay, I'm just going to click on the Twitter. My goodness. <coughs> <coughs> yep, yep. Okay, okay, okay. 
So, wow, that is. Oh my god, that that is. That is a fan fiction writer's dream come true. And to be honest, there's a lot of fan fiction that ask the question, what happened to the human version of Sunset Shimmer? Because, well, uh, it's a valid question. Like, where is she? What does she, what, what happened to her? So, fan fiction writers wrote down stuff like, she's in another town, she could pass away, or so on. I mean, th that's one of those things where, wow, this, this, I'm, you know what? I am disappointed. I am shocked and disappointed because this this is money on their hands. Like the idea here is just really great. But I do like um what Nick said about um many shows ignore the question completely of the determine uh completely to the the main determine Oh, sorry, uh, the detriment, okay, detriment of their storytelling universe reality. Think, Marishi wrote, Jessica Fincher discovered hundreds of dead bodies. So, um, if you guys got no idea what Marishi wrote is, uh, it's a show about this granny who goes to, uh, what you call this, places to, uh, just places for vacationing and whatnot, and somehow, she discovers that bodies. I mean, uh, think think about this. Like, uh, an, sorry, an easier one is, uh, my goodness me. Oh, huh. cats. Sorry. Um, think about it this way. When Conan goes anywhere, Detective Conan, by the way, uh, when Conan goes anywhere, somehow he's involved in solving the murder case and whatnot. And the chances of that happening is astronomically slim. Like, I, I know the show is all about him solving the murder mystery and whatnot, but think about it logically. You're in, in every chapter, in every episode, you are involved. Police might suspect that you might be the one that did the murder and whatnot. So, yeah, it, for, for this one, I really would love to see the sunset thing because that is awesome, yo. Uh, but I, I don't think we... Uh, no. And you know what? The holiday special was not bad. The, what, the winter thingy? It's not bad, but it's not what we really wanted. But you know what? That's besides the point. That's something for later. And you know what? After, I'm really disappointed with this one, guys. I'm really disappointed. <clears throat> but anywho, let's move on to the next news. My Little Pony, a new adventure. Book appears, possibly movie title. A book listing has appeared on Amazon with the title, My Little Pony, a new adventure. Uh, the description for it is a copy-paste directly from the synopsis we posted back during the Hasbro press event, blah, 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 and so on. Um, there's an update to this, so I'm just going to skip right to it. New, fi new, not final, book cover showing G5 MLP movie character inside different poses. Sorry. <clears throat> a Generation 5 My Little Pony movie book have been apparently slowly trickling, uh, sorry, tricking us, uh, you know, trickling us new information for the last few days. With that comes its new cover dug out of one of the many listings, showing off the three characters Hitch and Sunny, uh, reckon new poses with easy using ones we've already seen. <clears throat> Along with, sorry, uh, along with this, we have key remarks on both sides of butts with Hitch apparently rocking one 
with the right and easy on the left. Hmm, okay. So yeah, um this is kind of interesting. But with but like with any book series, we do have what you call this um we do have movie tie in books and whatnot. So um how I put it? I'm just gonna leave it on here. <clears throat> so with every new movie there's going to be a book and this is this happens with every other series uh we, we had it with zootopia uh, g4 like the movie for g4 um what else uh, other movies and you you get what i mean so it's not the first time that this is happening but it's very interesting that uh we kind of get titles because uh from this one it says not final cover so meaning that the cover art we see here is not the final one obviously now they're just using some copy paste things just to fill out um some you know just to fill out some blank page and whatnot i'm just gonna double check if this is the one that uh yep it is <clears throat> so like i was saying um with every movie, you'll get books, yay. Uh, but from what I can tell, the books might be on the uh, kiddie side. But let's see, um, new adventures. Hmm. We, we'll have to wait and see about that. There's, it's too early to give final thoughts. But anywho, um, next one is... Executive producer for the My Little Pony G5 movie slash series reveal, Court Ling. So, we have a big reveal for the upcoming G5 Netflix release, finally. A bit more interesting than those two new posts uh, post posted this morning. Uh, this executive producer for the project has finally been revealed. Court Lane over on Twitter posted this picture of himself up along with this tweet. Uh, it is himself wearing a G1 shirt with a unicorn and ear hit band. <laughs> Very awesomeness. And his tweet says, It's a poorly kept secret, but this sorry, but time to acknowledge something I've really I'm really proud of. I've been busy executing <laughs> exec producing the new my Little Pony, in parentheses, G5, CG series that's coming to Netflix. Hashtag My Little Pony, hashtag MLP, hashtag My Little Pony G5. Uh, he has an extensive collection of uh, production credits under his belt, including pretty much all of the cartoon-based Marvel stuff over the past decade. How will he handle cartoon horses? We will find out in September. So let's see what he has done. That's very interesting. <clears throat> uh, oh, 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 that's pretty interesting. Uh, 2021, that's new. Uh, producer, let's see. Okay, so from what I can see, he's done a lot of, well, um, like Safiso said, Marvel stuff. And these are the newer Marvel series, the new, the what, uh, Marvel XDs. And from what I can tell, that's not bad. Like, they really did a really good job on those. Uh, Marvel Superhero Adventure, which is this one? Oh, the tiny, the chibis. Rising. Okay, yeah. Um, so basically, from what I can tell, he did a pretty good job. Like, uh, yeah, there's... There's no worries there, but uh, like Sephisto said, how would he handle tiny small horses? But I'm sure he'll do good. Like he has experience. He's he's done it. So yay, much awesomeness. So let's go on to well the last news. I know there's two, but there's a reason. Full gallery and pre mm, full gallery and pre order open for Bushojo Bush, Bushojo Kotobukiya Princess Luna figures. And this is amazing. <clears throat> so I'm gonna summarize it. 
uh, pre-orders are available on the Japanese website and also on the American website if you want to pre-order or if you're like some other people I know you can order it at AmiAmi I'm not sponsored by them I wish I was but yeah uh, let's see uh, on the official US version of the website with a $130 price tag Ooh. Expected release date of October 21st. Hmm, okay. So it's going to be a bit pricey. Wow, that's that's really unfortunate. But let's see how she looks like. And oh boy, that looks good. I like the dress that they came up with. Sorry, they came up with uh, for Luna. Uh, I, I do like the... Um, frills on her and her hair looks pretty good let's see from a different angle yep uh there there's that um almost transparency in her hair and the glitter it looks good it looks really good i, I can't wait to see how she looks in her pony tone oh wow okay if this is the quest girls version of her she wouldn't have that dark uh, coat. She'll probably have that strange purple. So yeah, this looks good. This looks good. For one, oh wow, yeah, for one hundred thirty dollars. Yeah, Luna fans out there better order this because she's gonna sell out pretty quick. Ah, yeah, her eyes. Do not pose them like that. This looks good. So yeah, overall not bad. Like Kotobukiya really did a great job, and it's out. Uh, expected to be released in October. So that's awesome. So with that, <laughs> uh, we're done with the news. I thought we would have. Uh, well, I thought I would be recording this a bit longer, but no, no. So anywho, let's move on to the next topic, and the next topic is. What have I been doing with my week? So this week has been rather interesting. Um, didn't watch any movies because, well, um, no money. That's one. <laughs> uh, and then uh, a bit of Magic the Gathering. Yes, I have managed to play some this week. So yay, awesomeness. But what I've been doing is I've been watching season two of Beastars. Uh, here's the thing, Beastars Season 2 is not complete yet. It's only uh, finished its first run or its first, um, what you call this? Uh, how do I put this? Its first half of the season? Like, I think they're doing in it two parts. Season 2 Part 1 and then Season 2 Part 2. So, Part 1 consists of 11 episodes and it's really great. Like, the animation, the song, the song is awesome. And if you seen, yeah, if you're a big, f if you're a fan of B Stars, go watch it. It's really good. It's out on Netflix and whatnot. And other than that, yeah, I I can't wait for part two because, uh, it covers the, well, first part is covering, the arc where Legosi has to find. And catch the murderer from season one, uh, and it left us at the climax of the battle where Lagosi is facing off with the murderer. I won't say who it is if you have not watched it yet because it's a spoiler. But other than that, yeah, um, I, I got no idea where they're gonna carry on for part two. Obviously, it's going to be finishing the fight and whatnot, but after that, where do they leave it? Because, man, uh, I, I got no idea. I have kind of finished the series. I, I read the manga and whatnot, so I kind of know what's going on and whatnot. So, for manga, I got no idea. Sorry, for anime, I got no idea. <clears throat> but anywho, let's wrap things up. <clears throat> Anyway, if you have any questions, <laughs> I'll just put it here. So anyway, if you have any questions, 
concerns or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themediashowgmail.com or you can reach us on the Twitter to show Twitter account is at show and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also reach us, uh, sorry, uh, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also, uh, oof, wow, okay, and also Stitch Radio and also, um, like us on our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe and rate us on the iTunes and Switch Radio. Over there, you can catch me and Tara reviewing Pony Comics episodes, specials, and also other things other than ponies. Uh, those would be cartoon, anime, video games, and comics. Yes, we do those too. Uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash MBS Show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And also a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Jeffrey, Lucky Knight, myself, Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!